What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben. So today when it comes to macOS updates, I'll be happy to let you know that we have a new software update as you can see there. And this is macOS 14 Sonoma and it's a 0.3 update. It's checking for an update right now and you can see macOS 14.3, the more info right here gives us the software update size, which is 13.37 gigs. If I had to summarize this software, it's one of the most minor updates that we've seen when it comes to macOS Sonoma. So let me quickly just do the update and then we'll go ahead and cover what are the new features and changes that this has to offer together. So my device is now up to date and as you can see you can already tell that something is going on on my screen i'll explain that and it had been removed but now it's back but if we go into the general tab here and go to where it says software update you can see i'm up to date and the build number i have on mac os 14.3 is 23d56 and so that's as far as software changes and now when it comes to some of the new features and changes the first one that i have to show you here has to do with apple music this one has been updated across all platforms including watchOS, iOS and iPadOS and macOS. So if you open up your music application once you've updated and you go to your playlist here, you have the ability to create a new playlist and I created one here called macOS as you can see. And if I click here, you can see I can edit the playlist and if I click on it right there, you notice there's different songs that I've added to the playlist. But if you notice here, when you click this icon that has a person right here, this is the section that allows you to be able to invite people to join your playlist and in one with the link will basically be able to add, delete and reorder songs as well as react. So if they react to a song by putting like a thumbs up or a fire emoji, there will be their icon and name associated besides the song. But you can see here collaborators will be automatically joined if this is off. And if you enable it, you have to approve each person that you send the link to that wants to join. So once you've done this, you can basically start collaborating. And now you can take the link and be able to share it and you can see it brings this up and now you can share via airdrop or via messages and send whoever you want. Another change that has been added here has to do with uh, the general and if we go to where it says Apple Care and Warranty, this tab just used to show base coverage but now you can see it shows all your devices that are associated with the Apple ID and the status of the Apple Care coverage which is something that's good and a new area where you can monitor everything all at once. Now, like I mentioned, as you can see on my screen here, if we go into the wallpaper tab right here, if you watch my macOS 14.3 beta 1 video, you'll notice that all these pictures had actually been removed starting from the pro black wallpaper right here. This had been removed and these hello metallic silver metallic blue had all been removed. But now you can see that here they are back and I can set them as my wallpaper, including this pro black that looks pretty sick in my opinion opinion but for us to set this red like this I think it also looks pretty well but it's good to see that these have been brought back this is the pro black that was released or the, that was the default wallpaper when Apple released the new MacBook Pros that came in a new black color and then these ones were the new colors for the iMac so they are now available and if you want to set them with your default wallpaper you can happily do that now another thing that has been updated too has to do with Safari and if we go to the about Safari here, you can see with macOS 14.3, the Safari version actually corresponds to the same iOS version that just came out. So it's version 17.3. And previously on macOS 14.2, the Safari version we used to have, if you haven't updated, you see that it's now, it's it used to be Safari version 17.2. So it's been incremented and the build number that we have associated with this build that I'm on right here, you can see it right there it's 19617.2.4.11.8 hopefully it fixes some of the browsing jira delay that was happening and uh, that's basically most of the new features and changes that i hear another thing that i'm sort of disappointed with has to do with the missing application that came to the iphone but 
it was promised to be coming to Mac OS, but so far it hasn't yet arrived and it has to do with the journal application that hasn't yet arrived. So hopefully maybe with Mac OS 14.4, in which should be coming out like this week or next week maybe they will introduce the journal app and uh, another thing that's still missing with this update that i haven't been able to find has to do with the default apple music application these ones you're seeing them because they have to do with the document uh these are the applications that are allowing me to see these music widgets but it's not the default apple music widget that i was hoping we would get hopefully with the next update we might be able to see this and also another thing that apple mentioned that has been updated with this update has to do with security and stability so the apple security page is publicly available and with this update they are going to later on be publishing what securities and cve or common vulnerabilities and exposures that they are patching with this update which is a good thing to always see with a new update and then when it comes to this update if you were not getting your push notification notifications i cleared my notifications because some of them were sensitive but if you're not getting your uh, push notifications after restarting your mac then that issue has been resolved in the latest mac os 14.3 also another thing that's new with this update is this new pop-up screen that shows up when i open up find my and it just goes to show you how you can send your location via satellite find airports and their case if you have the latest ones and you can be able to share your ad tags these are all existing features but it's just a new pop-up screen basically those are all the new features and changes that are here when it comes to this mac os 14.3 hopefully many users won't be experiencing issues with their batteries or devices when it comes to this and for me in case you want to see my maximum health capacity you can see right now it's on 94 percent and i believe i've dropped a percentage since i started testing this mac os 14.3 from the first beta up to now until it's officially released so it's pretty much um, I'm still on my MacBook Pro that I've been using for a while haven't upgraded in over a year now so that's about it for me when it comes to this update hopefully it gives you an idea of what to expect when you update and if you are interested in seeing other updates like iOS and watchOS I've covered them on here on the channel so check those out and uh, we'll definitely see you in the next video pretty soon peace